Welcome to another video by Lane Creations. It's going to be really short, but it's going to tell you how you can, even though I'm not going to actually give you any answers. Um, I got a request to explain how you could customize one of the SOAR apps. And the principle was, hey, they wanted the, the ability to set it up completely dynamic. So the web address that it goes to would be input by variables, et cetera, et cetera. And I just want to show you, while I don't have the time, or I'm not even sure I have the know-how to do it, I'm not a Python programmer, and there's a lot of things going on there that I don't understand. If you know someone or you've got the skill set, I want to show you how it's done. So the first thing I would do is I want to come in, and I'm going to look at my apps. In this situation, it's the HTTP app. So we'll just go look here. First thing you want to do, go look at the documentation. Documentation will come back and tell you what configuration variables you need to have in place, what they're doing, supported actions. If you click on the supported action, I can't remember if that takes you. No, nope, it doesn't actually. I don't know why it's. So you've got, it's not working here, but you can see what, what variables are being used, things like this. I'm going to guess. If I take that, we'll find some stuff. But All right, so we got the documentation read the friendly manual that's really what it comes down to if this is something you want to do um i have used this app but i only have four or five places i'm sending it to so i've cussed i've just used the standard customization maybe i need to be able to send it to hundreds and so i need it dynamic so if i go to the apps one of the things you do when you set this thing up we're going to configure a new asset it's going to require it wants you to put in the url but if you want, maybe you want to be able to pass that in as a variable. So that's all good and dandy. Unfortunately, that's not how, so that would mean you need 100, 200, it's too, it's too much, and a bunch of, uh, in your playbook, then you would have a bunch of decision trees and point to the which app you want to use. The concept is they want it to be more dynamic. So what you'll do, you come to apps, and over here is this little eye. If you click the eye, you can come in here and you can view all of the details not much here in the contributing md not much to do with the license the notice the readme these but these are the files that make up this app the biggest area you're going to find is http connector let's see if i can find control f control v i did not find that word um but basically you've got the text here you got your uh, uh, python and you'll come down here and you're going to basically find that area where it's handling those variables. All of those are pushed in. All these things are controlled by the code over here. If you can find that code, you can modify it. Here, for example, is where user and password are coming from. So you could hijack this code right here and use something else. Here's that test HTTP method, the auth token. Okay. You're going to find those variables throughout here. And you're going to have to make the, the that configuration change. Can it be done? Absolutely. Do I know how to do it? No. Do I have the time to go do a bunch of one-offs? I wish I did, but I don't. Um, it's not, one, it's not enjoyable to me, and two, I have to have a, I have to, it's not part of my job set and it's not one of my skill sets. So anyway, but if you have the skill set or you know someone who can do it, you can make any changes in here and then those responses can be done. You can actually, if you need to, you can inject this into another editor, whatever the case may be and modify, play around with it there. But it's basically as, SOAR is nothing more than Python and with a nice front friendly wrapper. All you got to do is find the pieces in here that associate with those wrappers. And in theory, you can change it. You may end up finding it faster to just write your own um, app. But this is the general principle there. Hope this is helpful. Hope this helps move you from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. And that you keep coming back and watch the videos.